Good afternoon, everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. Okay. So in our previous session, I think we had learned about prime factorization, right? So it's a very common quote which says that practice makes a man perfect, right? So maths is something which needs a lot of practice. So here I'm with few questions. We'll be practicing to improve our skills in it. Skills in it. So let's get started. So the first question says. Find the smallest whole number by which 2028 should be multiplied so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the square so obtained. So find the smallest whole number. So whole numbers, they start from 0, 1, 2, 3 and it goes on infinity, right? Okay, then by which 2028. So first we'll have to check that whether 2028 is a perfect square or not, right? Check whether it is a perfect square or not. For that, we'll have to go with the prime factorization method because if we take repeated subtraction, it's going to be lengthy. So let's proceed. 2028 prime factorization we have to use only prime numbers we can start with 2 we have to take the divisibility rule and proceed accordingly 7 with 3 now 69 and then with 13 now 13 13 that was next is 13 itself we can take another number 1 so it's equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 13 into 30. So let's underline the pairs and we are going to pick up one from each. But it's not a perfect square. Not a perfect square. Now the question is why? It's because 3. What about 3? It's not in pair. So what do we have to multiply? We have to multiply 3, right? Because if we multiply 3, it comes in pair. So if we multiply with 3, it will come in pair. So it will become a pair, right? So we have to multiply with 3. 28 into 3 equals to 684. Right? So now the second part says also find the square root of the square so obtained. So we have to even find the square root. So how do we find it? Using the same method that is the prime factorization. We'll go with 2. Next with 2. Next with 3 we can go. Again with 3 we can go, next to 169 we can go with 13, 13 ones. So haven't we reached to the end? We find that here all the numbers are with their pairs. So we have to even find the square root of the square, so 13, right? After multiplying with the number, the smallest whole number which is required. So what is the square root 2 into 3 into 13 because from each you have to pick up it's 78 therefore the square root of 6084 is equal to 78 fine is the question clear shall we proceed let's proceed the next question says find the smallest whole number by which 2925 should be divided so as to get a perfect square. So in this case, we have to divide it, not multiply. So what are we going to do? Just here, if it was asked to be divided, we would have removed 3. So that the other two numbers are in pair, right? So it's enough. We have to have divided by 3. So here, we are going to divide it by 3. 3, not 3. Any the number which is not in the pair. Let's check it using the prime factorization method um, can we go with 
R3. Yes. 3, 9, 20, 27, 25, so. Again, the 3. Next we have to take 5, so 5, 6 up, 5, 5 up. Again with 5 if we take, it's 5, 13 so. Then 13, 1 so. so it's equal to 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 13. What about this? This is not in the pair. So we have to remove 13. Or we can divide by 13. 13, 13 cancel. So 3, 3 is on. 9, 9 by the 45, 45 to 5 is 225. So 225 is the number whose square root we have to find. It's a perfect square. Perfect square. So let's check its square root. What is the square root of 225? We can start with 3 also. You have to check the divisibility rule to choose which prime name number has to be taken. Now, uh, and again with 3, I suppose. Two, three, five, five. Now we have to take with 5 and then so on. Five, five, five. It's equal to 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. So aren't these in pairs? So we have to pick one from each pair. It's going to be that implies square root of 225 is equal to 50. I hope these two questions were clear to you all. And for today we'll practice only this much because the sums which you have practiced, you must be aware, you must go through them. So we will proceed with our next questions in the next class. For now, thank you. And if you have any doubts, please place it in the comments box. Thank you.